Onions are easy to grow, high in vitamin C, and add abundant flavor to many dishes. In Somalia, onions are commonly cultivated crops, and therefore proper production practices in the process of cultivating and handling onions is necessary. There are multiple steps in the onion cultivation process. The first being climate, followed by land preparation, planting, irrigation, fertilizer application, harvesting, then storage. Climate requirements. Onions are regarded as cool season plants, but have the ability to fully develop in a wide range of temperatures. Through thousands of years of cultivation, farmers have concluded that onions thrive best when temperatures are cool during early development and then warmer during maturity. This range of temperatures is between 13 to 25 degrees Celsius. Land preparation. Onions can grow quite large given sufficient space to grow. Onions have soft roots so the soil should be well drained, fertile, with a pH of 6.0 to 6.8. Shape the land into beds so that it facilitates furrow irrigation of the seedlings and draining after heavy rain. Always make sure the width of the beds are 0.9 to 1 meter wide and 20 to 30 centimeters high. Also, leave one meter wide between each bed. Sowing and transplanting. Onions are available in three forms, sets, transplants, and seeds. Sets are small bulbs that are underdeveloped. The smaller the sets, the better. Sets are easiest to plant but they come in the smallest number of varieties. Transplants are partially grown plants and are more reliable about producing bulbs. They are also available in more varieties than sets. Seeds are the least expensive and offer the greatest number of varieties, but they take the longest to develop and are most prone to disease and environmental problems. Plant the seeds into the starting trays by pushing them four to five inches into the pockets. Gently press them in and try to space them about one fourth of an inch apart. After sowing, add a thin layer or more of soil on top of the seeds. Gently water the tray once a day to allow for a proper germination of the seed. After 9 to 11 weeks, the onions are ready to be transplanted into a bigger space maximizing bulb growth. When transplanting, make sure to leave at least 4 to 5 inches between each band to ensure adequate bulb expansion. Mulch. When planting onions, Apply mulching as it helps retain the moisture of the soil, as well as helping the plant grow upwards. It is recommended to use organic mulch, such as grass clippings, hay, leaves. Mulching also provides food for the millions of microorganisms in the soil, thus making the soil more nutritious for the plant. Crop watering and irrigation. While onion plants tend to respond to adequate watering with high yields and top quality, it doesn't take much water to cause them to become diseased and rot in the ground. In well-drained soil, onions need a thorough soaking of one inch of water a week for optimal growth. Cut back on watering when the tops start dying back to prevent the bulbs from rotting. Fertilizer application. In areas such as Somalia, soils are known to be phosphorus and nitrogen deficient. Therefore, a general application of urea fertilizer before placing the onion seedlings in the ground is recommended. 
Three weeks after planting the seedlings in the ground, the gardener may begin applications of nitrogen-based fertilizers, such as ammonium nitrate. Crop harvest. Onions can be harvested and eaten at any stage, but it's always nice to have maximized bulbs that can be stored properly. You can always tell when onions have stopped growing. The leaves will lose their color, weaken at the top of the bulb, and fall over. Bulbs for storage may be harvested when 50% or more of the tops have broken over. But remember the bulbs must be cured and dried thoroughly before being placed in storage. Curing. Fresh from harvest, onions are full of moisture because they have a very light covering of skin. Curing is the process of drying freshly harvested onions, especially with intent of storing. Spread the onions on dry land, giving them as much room as possible. In drier parts of the country, farmers and gardeners often let their onions cure right in the row after they pull them from the ground. Crop storage. The quality and safety of any fresh produce item depends on proper handling and storage. Dry bulb onions should be kept in a cool, dry, well-ventilated place. Do not store whole onions in plastic bags as the lack of air movement will reduce their storage life, causing the onions to rot. Diseases. There are three main diseases that attack the onion crop purple blotch, onion smudge, and onion rust. Purple blotch are purple spots that develop on leaves and attack many plants in the allium family. To manage purple blotch, find tolerant varieties of onion seeds where available. Have a good drainage system. Increase plowing between seasons. Onion smudge usually appears in fields just before harvest, and you will notice green or black stains on the onion that later develop in eccentric rings. To manage onion smudge, harvest the crop promptly. Avoid exposure to rain between harvest time and storage. Grow colored varieties in areas where smudge is a persistent problem. Onion rust. Favored by high humidity, onion rust occurs when small orange spots develop on the tops. To manage onion rust, use new soil. Completely remove old soil. Apply crop rotation with non-allium species. This helps manage soil fertility and also helps reduce problems with soil-borne diseases. Also, don't forget to remove weeds. Pests. Onion crops typically suffer from one main pest called thrips. Thrips are tiny one millimeter in length, slender and very mobile insects. Thrips infestation are more severe in dry seasons and entire fields may be destroyed. To manage thrips, Keep plants well irrigated. Remove weeds as the thrips population builds up on them. Remove heavily infested plant material, 